Hello friends, this video on natural resources part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction, Environmental Problems, Air, Air Pollution, Water, Water Pollution, Soil, Biogeochemical Cycles wherein we will discuss about Water Cycle, Nitrogen Cycle, Carbon Cycle and Oxygen Cycle, Ozone Layer, now when we talk about natural resources, so where are these natural resources? The resources which exist in nature. Now when we talk about nature, uh, the first thing that comes to our mind is what makes earth a unique planet? Like these natural resources exist naturally on this planet earth. So how is earth so very unique than the remaining planets of the solar system? So when you look at earth, the most critical feature of earth is that it supports life. So what do we mean by supporting life? So earth is the only planet where living organisms can exist. So organisms can uh, reproduce, they can live. They, so the entire environment is as appropriate as is needed by an organism to live and flourish. So let us look at some of those features of the earth which makes it livable. Presence of air. So when you look at air, what is air made up of? So air consists of different gases mixed together and these gases are needed by different living organisms. For example, you talk about oxygen. So oxygen is needed by living organisms for respiration. So respiration is that process in which food gets converted to energy and every living organism needs energy to survive because they need energy to perform all the uh, various metabolic processes. Talk about uh, elements like nitrogen and carbon which are needed for the formation of various biomolecules like proteins, fats, nucleic acids, carbohydrates, etc. which in turn form the living body itself. So presence of air is one critical parameter because of which earth supports life. Presence of water. Now as we all know that water is life, water serves multiple purposes. For example, water, even if you look at inside the living body also, there also water performs multiple fun functions. It helps to transport useful materials to different parts of the body. At the same time, it helps to remove the unwanted materials. That is, it helps to remove the wastes from different parts of the body. So that means water helps in transportation. And you would have seen it for yourselves that we human beings, we need water for so many different purposes, for cooking, for drinking, for taking bath, for cleaning. So for all of these, we need water. Plants, they will not be able to survive without water. So water helps in transport of minerals and necessary nutrients for all living organisms. Moderate temperature. So if you look at the temperature of the planet Earth, it is neither too high nor too low. So the temperature is perfect and favorable for survival of living organisms. So presence of air, water, presence of a moderate temperature, all of these together enables Earth to support life. And since Earth is the only planet which supports life, that makes Earth very, very unique. Now what comes to your mind when you think of our environment? So when we think of our environment, we could think of the things that generally happen around us. So how do we want our environment to be? So obviously we want our environment to be clean, green, no pollution, uh, no dust, no smoke. So that's how we want it to be. So we want fresh air everywhere so that when we breathe in, we feel good. So that is our expectation from our surroundings, from our environment. But what actually is the case? Now there are certain things which are kind of interfering with a clean and green environment and that is bothering our environment. So what are these unwanted things? So these unwanted harmful substances could be uh, the waste materials or the toxic chemicals which are thrown as wastes from our household or from industries or factories or any other public place. Similarly, these unwanted materials could also be some poisonous gases which get emitted during burning of substances or the poisonous gases which get emitted from the vehicles, engines. So 
there could be a lot of unwanted harmful substances that might get released into the environment because of which the environment no more remains clean and neat and green so what happens now you would have seen this also that if if you stay near a, a main road a busy road where a lot of vehicles operate so you would have seen that that place is very kind of dusty and smoky and polluted and even if you breathe in such a place you do not feel good you do not feel that you are breathing in fresh air so so what is that so that is happening because of the presence of some unwanted substances in the environment which is kind of uh, polluting the air so so these unwanted substances might interfere with a clean and green environment and because of the presence of all of these unwanted materials the green earth gets converted to a polluted earth so in this lesson we, what are we planning to do is we are basically going to talk about the resources which exist on the planet earth which makes it special for example water air soil so these are some natural resources which already exist on this planet but we will also see that how these natural resources are threatened these days due to the presence of undesirable substances so we are going to talk all about uh, these different resources now before we start we must know that it is extremely critical and urgent for each one of us to take good care of the environment because if our environment is not proper that is if there are undesirable substances in the environment that is if the environment is polluted this can also cause large number of deaths so gradually the living organisms will start dying and we might even arrive at a time where you know the the diversity of the living organisms will actually reduce a lot due to environmental pollution so if you look at the picture on the screen it actually shows that india is at the second position in terms of number of deaths in a year due to environmental pollution and that's quite threatening so we should take this issue seriously so this is something which we desire our planet earth to be everywhere clean and green lot of trees everywhere because presence of trees helps us in a lot of ways it helps to kind of uh, uh, maintain the the quality of the soil it also binds water under the ground uh, it also helps in maintaining the balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere so th there are a lot of advantages of having more trees so green clean environment is what we want the planet earth to be but how is it actually becoming something like this where you see you you often come across sites like this where garbages are dumped like this on the road side or on the river side and that's really awful besides that we see that most of the trees most i mean as the cities uh, develop many trees and plants are cut because of which the number of trees have reduced so the greenery has reduced too many vehicles too many factories and industry has industries have also added to the amount of smoke and poisonous gases to the atmosphere so all of these together is gradually kind of polluting our environment and is leading to a polluted earth Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.